Finally, after a long time, we had a clear night, so I took the two telescopes out. This is the shadow of them. <laughs> I thought that I would show you the shadow. And what you could see is that uh, Skywatcher Evo Star 90 millimeter um, objective lens refractor telescope, as you can see, is made in China. I think it is F10 uh, because it's 900 millimeter also. So it makes the F10 telescope refractor, of course. Is the star wave is equal to uh, Lyra 102. And it's again made in China. is is a very longer tube it has. And the uh, tube rings also are very good quality. Uh, it has a beautiful uh, rotatable. Everything is rotatable. Focuser, everything you can rotate. Not just a tube. And uh, it's made in China. I use it with astrophysics uh, two inch diagonal, which is the premium, the best uh, diagonal you can get, uh, even better than ever bright of the uh, Teleview. And uh, this is made in China. Everything is, it feels like a Questor when you want to use it. Mechanically, is equal to Questor. Uh, means that for the convenience, you can move and rotate the focuser. Uh, the Evo Star is almost half the price and as uh, is a smaller slightly, but it comes with a mount. It's a cultural mount, really good, solid cultural mount. Uh, Lyra doesn't come with anything, even not the diagonal. You have to add your own diagonal. And uh, now I'm pointing both of them to the Jupiter and uh, trying to see what uh, differences I can notice. With the, um, I'm using Takashi LE 7.5 millimeter on the Lyra or Star Wave 102 refractor. And on the Evo Star, I'm using the uh, Skywatcher um, 7 millimeter uh, eyepiece. Um, is the image in the Lyra or Star Wave is actually slightly bigger. I think that is because of the focal length of it being longer. And the other one, uh, all this is seven also, and uh, should be magnified a little bit more. Is actually this image is a little bit smaller. So what I will do, I will switch that. I will go to a, a four millimeter eyepiece on the Evo Star 90, and uh, just see what differences I will notice. But the amount of the details I can see in both of them, if I find it in the Lyra, I can see the same on the Evo Star. I could see the red spot, great red spot of the Jupiter. And uh, I could see the same on the Evo Star. Okay, I have now replaced the 7mm Nirvana with the 4mm Nirvana. My purpose was to get an image almost the same size as the image I could see in the uh, Lyra Star Wave 102 uh, through the 7.5mm Takashi. Because it has a bigger f tube, it actually magnifies more. So. To compensate for that, I went for a four millimeter. The amount of the, the amount of the details are equal in both now almost. Uh, what I see on this uh, telescope, Lyra with the Takashi, if I find it on this, I can find it on this one also. Now the image is slightly now is bigger on the four millimeter uh, Nirvana eyepiece on the Evo Star, uh, but the details are equal, and uh, I think that uh, that is a that's a good comparison of these two uh, sizes I can now do. Uh, which one I prefer? Uh, okay, I'm used to, as I mentioned, to using the bigger telescope with a bigger uh, uh, star diagonal, two inch diagonal on this one is more convenient for me. And uh, also the finder scope is bigger. The position of the tube and rotating of the focuser is also advantage for me because I can just do that easily. With this one is all right. It's my first uh, telescope that I got after coming back to the hobby. Uh, the first one was this Evo Star 90. It's a solid, really good telescope. Uh, Takashi Star Base, which is now on sale for 500 pounds, double the amount of the Evo Star, is, is inferior to this, what I'm describing, uh, the Evo Star. Evo Star is superior to that. Um, the thing is that with the Lyra, you have the premium quality of the rota uh, rotatory, rotatable uh, focuser and the dual focuser, Crayford focuser. Uh, I prefer 
rack and pinion of the Evo Star, of course, 90. That's a rack and pinion. Always, every day, I prefer that one. It's more stable. The focus doesn't change, shift too much. Uh, so this is the favorite one for me. I've used the um, Teleview um, diagonal on this one, one and a quarter inch, as you can see here. Uh, it gives a really bright image. You can see the notice the difference. You know, if you use a cheap, a cheaper thing, you can see the difference uh, when you when you use them. We come back from, uh, you know, cheaper diagonal to more. Uh, you can see the difference. Of course, the another thing is that just completely. Uh, Japanese do that completely ignore the diagonal remove it and just look through the telescope with the eyepiece that is even better you don't need to spend that much money in this one astrophysics 2 inch was really good I've used it in, with other telescopes you can see also the significant increase in the light not significant just a slight I should say slight increase the another option is that what the Japanese do as I mentioned they just ignore it and just go for the diagonal uh, without diagonal looking through the telescope directly it makes it difficult if you're looking at the zenith or something like that but near the horizon uh, this, the object will be easier so which one i prefer i think both of them are very good for a starter uh, beginner the evil star is really good is a winner i may actually do a test on this just to go japanese way and just look through the telescope without a diagonal it's, it will be difficult, I will have some neck pain, but uh, wish me luck. I will make a video on that, and uh, I will let you know what's, what differences I notice. It's definitely a cost-saving measure, and you see more light. You don't waste the light.